academic here. What is the idea behind this? What has ne necessitated this? Okay. You know, 20, 2018, we started the standard base for the KG to the upper primary, and then we added the JHS because we want to make sure that we change the curriculum. And of course, curriculum changes normally happen looking at the relevance to contemporary society, alignment with national goals, cultural and social changes, and even the 21st century uh, <coughs> world activities, continuous improvement. All these things bring in or put together require change in curriculum. And so the nation decided that we want to look at contemporary times and all these things and move into a new era. And that is where the standard base started. And as, like I said, we've done for the primary, we've done for the JHS. It is left for us to complete the senior high mm. uh, so that we, are, we have a new <coughs> curriculum in place. And that is what, in the last two years, we started developing, and this is where we have reached. As I speak with you now, we are doing about 31 schools are trialing them. We are training them to start trialing them. And then hopefully 2024, 2025, we will roll out. Mm. And so the senior high school curriculum is the last link to the standard-based curriculum that the nation wants to go. How, how broadly would you say you have consulted? You know, Because you don't do this in isolation. There are people you work with. Yeah. Would you say that you have consulted broadly enough, widely enough, such that everybody's aligned and they, are, they know what is coming? Okay. David, before we started, mm. we started the consultation. We met with Association of Ghanaian Industries. We met with Vice Chancellors Ghana, Vice Chancellors Technical Universities. We, 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 we met with the NAGRAT, the NAT, Charles, and even students. And we got their, their, their input, CSOs. And all these stakeholders gave us some inputs. Then after the first or uh, the initial draft, we went back to them mm. with this stakeholder. Even we included the National House of Chiefs. We went back to even some of the schools. We, we, we zoned the country into three zones. The northern zone, the middle zone, and then the southern zone. Now for each zone, we picked category A school, category B, category C school. We gave the curriculum to the teachers in the, those various schools to teach them and give give us their give us their reports and after that we also engage the children that were taught and also we give them report of course we, we we were happy to receive their feedback we use some of their feedback to augment what we have done and they will trust you me most of the, the the teachers the schools that use were used to do this uh, trialing fantastic their comments were fantastic in fact some of the students were saying that if this curriculum was there why did we wait for them to be hesitant before we are bringing this what, what one? do they mean by that because they found this one good very accommodating and it doesn't give students the pressure now <clears throat> let me give you some of the key things that Please we've do. captured in this new curriculum now the senior high school curriculum that we are going to run Originally, we were doing 63 subjects. Now, we've scaled it down to 31. So, from Form 1 to Form 3, by the time you are done, you'd have done 63 subjects. Yes. But I mean, we were, those were the subjects that we were And now you scaled it down to 31. 31. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We've, we've introduced for the first time. You know, David, there are some schools doing intaco. There are some students who come to school within two weeks, three weeks, they are finished school. You have graduated. I, I don't know what you mean, but I remember when I was in Okes, we had people who come and play football for us. Okay, but after, <laughs> the, after that, <laughs> you don't see them anymore. <laughs> they have graduated. Oh, okay, so there are two, three, three. <laughs> it happens in other, other sporting schools. It happens there as well. I mean, you see them when it's in, uh, the sport, the middle, the middle season, football season, they come and play. When it's athletics, they come and run. Yeah. And then now, for the first time, we've in introduced physical education and health now, physical as, as examinable. Oh, okay. subjects. Oh, okay. Now we used to have PE, which was not examinable. That's but this time, say, yeah. this time, it is examinable. A student can take it from year one, and then exit and go to the university and continue. You can add chemistry. You can add uh, uh, whatever you want to biology ah, to it. Somebody who comes to study PE, yeah, can add chemistry to of course to his or her subject. Of course, and go to the university to study. Now, of course, I, I, I'm I'm asking this, and I'm happy that you said of course because some years ago. If you're doing general arts, 
that's the line you will continue mm. out till you are done. Mm. Well, elsewhere, somebody might have done some general art of a sort or art of a sort, but I could veer off and go do some other program okay. that enable okay. him or her okay. to do so I'm coming engineering, in, engineering or even medicine. In this new curriculum, we are not looking at programs. We are looking at subjects. In this curriculum? Yes. You're not looking at programs? We are looking at subjects. What okay. it means is that mm. the child or the student will decide, like you're saying, we are not even doing uh, 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 we are not doing elective maths and core maths. Okay. If you take, we have additional mathematics, and then we have what we refer to as a core maths or modern maths. Mm. If you decide to do additional mathematics, that is all. That is, it means you want to do the engineering and other things. You choose additional mathematics. But if you want to go into the humanities and other things, you do the modern maths. You don't combine. Mm. You don't do uh, integrated science and do physics, chemistry, biology. If you decide to do physics, chemistry, biology, you don't do integrated science. This time you have general science for which a hum the humanities child would decide that, well, I can do general science. So he chooses general science and that is good to go. In this curriculum, if you are doing home economics, you now have the luxury because now we've put the home economics into one subject, but the others are in various strands. So you can have the strand of management in living, a strand of uh, art and whatever. Then you choose home economics, you have the luxury of adding chemistry, biology. So if you want to go and do your nursing or you want to do, go and do dietetics, you can come. But you want to do biological sciences, where it will require that you do maybe chemistry, biology, and your home economics. You do it. David, you know that, like I said, initially, before we started, we engage the stakeholders. Do you know that it would, you need two subjects to add to your core? To, to do a program in the university. So, <clears throat> if you require two, the others are just top ups. We now have freed the system, and the child, the senior high school child, can pick about four or five subjects and he can combine them. And by the time he's leaving, at least he has about three options of programs That's that, 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 he can do, huh? that he can do. So, we, we, we've made it in such a way that the, the school system will be flexible for the child. And the child, you know, sometimes, for example, those who were doing agri, they were doing agri science, animal husbandry, horticulture, and for Ken University, for example, they take all to be agri. Mm. And so, if the child does not get a good grade, it means that his agri line is cut. But there are people who don't even do agri in the senior high school, mm. yet they manage to get admission, so long as they are able to satisfy biology and yeah. chemistry and other stuff. Mm. So. We, we, we've made it in such a way that even if you want to take a great science, which is one, you now have the luxury of doing other subjects. You, want, you may want to do general science, a great science, economics, geography, additional mathematics, which will allow you to do your land economy or whatever that you want to do. I'll, I'll come to you, 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 you indulge me. I can see a lot of diversification in there. It gives a lot of flexibility for students as well. Exactly. But, it, but in all this, how the assessment be done? Okay. Because here's a situation where, for, for, for you tackle that one bit for me. How the assessment be done? Is it going to be done at the end okay. of the whole program, okay. or is it going to be done in bits? Because here you are, you are you are you are an, uh, a, 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 an art student, but you're trying to do some chemistry and some other programs in there as well. Right. Of course, your subject should, the choice of your subject should be determined by what you intend doing mm. when you go into the university or in future. Now, the assessment, you know, now we've gotten a new assessment framework. NACA developed a new assessment framework. And our <coughs> focus is now on assessment as learning, assessment for learning, and assessment of learning. Now, we are moving away from the summative, sort of. Of course, summit, we are not saying summative is not good, because at every level, you have the luxury of doing a little bit of summative. But our focus is on formative assessment, where the child... <coughs> We are even we are even adding on the transcript system. So every subject that you engage in, it is captured on your transcript. And when you go out, it can be referred to as part of the subject that you have uh, done, mm. and it can be used to help you in choosing your program, even if it is outside the country. Mm. Now, <clears throat> the child first year have the luxury of doing any subject that you want to. Of course you also have to look at where you want to go so you can pick about 10 subjects but you exit you exit with a minimum of seven and a maximum of nine oh, okay you exit. so you can do about 11 if you're a good student or you are gifted and talented and of course the curriculum recognizing gifted and talented at the same time you also have two 
uh, intervention programs for intervention maths and intervention english mm. which allows a child who is weak in english to be rolled on to that subject and then he better himself or herself and then he moves on that is what we are we, the new curriculum is going to be it's not you don't wait until the end and then we assess everything no as we move on we assess you and then we put your credit hours there and then we use it when you finished Leo, before 